I made a healthy protein packed pizza and no, it's not some bullshit quinoa or cauliflower rice crust. It's got bread, it's got meat, it's got cheese, and most importantly, it tastes damn good. One, two, three, jump! Before we hop into the cooking, I do kind of want to tell you my motivation for this video. So I feel when it comes to, you know, healthy eating and cooking, you know, a lot of people have this misconception that you need to cut a bunch of stuff out. You need to eat boiled chicken and steamed vegetables every night. When in reality, in cooking, there are so many cool ingredients that can be used to provide flavor and taste and still reach your health and fitness goals. For myself, I'm on a slight cut right now. So basically I'm eating at a daily caloric deficit of around 300 calories per day while maintaining 140 grams of protein from my food sources. And that's really it. You know, I'll eat whatever food I want in the day, as long as at the end of the day, I've kind of reached those two goals. But another thing with me is I'm never going to sacrifice my enjoyment and taste of food and cooking because that is one of my favorite things to do. So I'm constantly trying to, you know, reinvent how can I use new ingredients to, you know, create some new flavorful dishes and sometimes you find an absolute gem like I did with this Mediterranean pizza recipe. It's protein packed and it tastes so, so good. I've been absolutely addicted to this thing ever since I started making it like two or three weeks ago. I probably had it six or seven times for dinner and it's honestly unbelievable. And if someone were to come up with a New York style pizza and said it had the same exact nutrition information, I'd still eat this one because that's how good it is. So without further ado, let's get cooking. So we're gonna make a pretty basic dough recipe and the addition of one ingredient that I do wanna point out is gonna be some Icelandic skir. So we're gonna make kind of a non-style um, dough recipe and it creates a nice elasticity and texture to the dough in addition to providing a lot of protein. Here's a little pro tip for you guys. So I only have around half of the flour in here. So I have 1.5 cups out of 2.5 and I'm gonna add my liquid now and I'm gonna kind of create a slurry and then add the rest of the flour as I need it. And you'll find you'll have a lot more success with those if you do this method. And at this stage, your dough is gonna be pretty soft and sticky, but that's what we want, so don't worry about it. Just massage it and knead it a few times until it forms into a nice ball, and then we'll let this thing rest. So for toppings, I've got half a pound of ground bison. I'm gonna use half of this, but I'm gonna mix it all with a Mediterranean inspired spice mix I'm gonna grind in my mortar and pestle. If you are using pre-ground spices, you may wanna use a little bit less than I do, and you can use whatever protein you want. Chicken, ground turkey, anything will work. So here's a quick look at our toppings. We have our Icelandic skir and harissa paste. And this works really well because Icelandic skir kind of has this almost like a sour cream taste. And 
it mixes with the harissa, it gives it that nice spice and sourness, and it's a great base for this, this kind of Mediterranean pizza. It's actually unbelievable. And additionally, we get a lot more protein out of it. And then next, we've got our spiced beef mixture with that ground up uh, spice mix we made. I've got about a half a cup of some shredded mozzarella. You know, just I had a couple onions, so I'm just gonna chop them up and throw them on. And then the topping is gonna be some fresh dill. And I will say, don't skip out on the dill if you know, if you can get it, because it really brings in the whole dish together. I'm just gonna sprinkle it on after it's done cooking, and it's gonna provide this really nice garnish and just some extra freshness, and it, it really works with all these flavors. So definitely give it a try if you've never really used dill before. So really all that's left to do is we're gonna get our non bread dough, cut it into eight different pieces, and smooth them out into very thin, thin circles for our pizza base, and then I'm gonna put it in a ripping hot pan um, with a little bit of olive oil, we'll put one side down and then we'll flip it and then we'll put all these toppings on and finish it in the broiler. So let's get that done and I'll meet you back here when it's finished. One, two, three, jump! So we have our finished pizza and I'm so ready to dive into this thing. Like I said, I've become absolutely addicted to it. Um, before we do, I say if you have enjoyed the content, definitely leave a like and subscribe down below. And also I'll put the nutrition information up in the right hand corner once I calculate it. But I'm thinking probably between 40 and 50 grams of protein and probably six or 700 calories for this thing. Um, but without further ado, let's give this a taste test. Mm. So definitely give this a shot. Like I said, I've been absolutely addicted to this ever since I started making it um, a couple weeks ago. All right, so that will wrap it up for the video. Hopefully you found this enjoyable and maybe a little bit informative or eye-opening around how to make some meals that taste awesome and that you just genuinely love while still maintaining those health and fitness goals. There's tons of different ingredients and flavors out there and you can make anything work for almost any diet. And this has become a staple in my diet the past few weeks. Um, but if anyone has any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll catch you in the next one.